Hi, welcome back. Today I had planned on erecting the walls in the dollhouse, but then I got to thinking back to the other dollhouses that I had made previously, and I remembered how really, really difficult it was to paint the walls and the trim. And what do I mean? Okay, this is a wall with a piece of trim on it. Now, if this isn't painted beforehand, you have to paint it once we get it assembled. So you have to paint right up to this little piece here. See it? Right up to the very edge here of the house color. And then you have to paint right up to the very edge of that again with a trim color. And doing that without making a mess on either board, because I have a different color for the house and a different color for the trim, is next to impossible. So I thought, why not paint them first? Then assemble them. Oh, why not? But the only problem is, is it says in the book, glue will not stick to the painted surfaces. So if you paint something, it's glue is going to have a hard time holding. So then I thought, okay, why don't we just go ahead on all our pieces where we know there's going to be trim and mark it. So that's what I've been doing. I have all these pieces and I marked and I have here is the ox eye window. Um, I punched that piece out of the press board so I would know how big to make it around and I just traced it around. Now when I paint this, I have to remember that and paint just a little bit further past the line um, to make sure you're not going to see it once the part is up there. And then this here part right here on the very top of each one of these is where the roof trim will go. So I've already got these and then Right here, I've marked where the, the window trim will go, both on all the sizes. And I did that with every opening, plus the corners where the trim will go. Because and uh, what corners won't accept the trim like that, and it needs to be like that, then we'll have to paint the trim a different way. Some will paint here, and some will paint in here. But... We haven't got to the trim part yet. We're still working on this. I have one piece left to measure and mark. And I have been marking them at 3 eighths of an inch. Because most of this stuff is a quarter inch. So I've been marking 3 eighths of an inch. So I need to finish up on this one. Oh, I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch, not 3 eighths. I've been marking it an eighth of an inch, and the, which is a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch. So we should be okay that way. way. And I figured today we would spend the time painting. Let me finish marking this one, and then we'll get set up. Now the paint I'm going to be using is uh, paint I had for a house project. And it's a light tan, kind of a sand color. I think it'll go very well. So um, let me go ahead and set up and then I'll come back and we'll do some painting and um, get our plan for the rest of the, the day's activities, I think. All right, this is the house we're building, just so you want to see it right side up. And we have trim up here and in here and above the doors and up here and up there. Um, this is what I tried to compensate for now by marking it so we don't prep, so we don't paint it. Okay? Well, I've been busy painting, and I have one done. Well, the first coat, it's going to take two coats. And this takes a while. I have the second one done. 
So this is going to be a, a process here. It's uh, definitely not as fast as I would hope it's going to go, but it is what it is. And this has to be took care of first because I just, I can't see me trying to paint this when all the, it's all assembled and the trim is all on and I just don't see that happening. So this is the way we're going to go. And like I said, it's going to take a while. What are you going to do? Hi, it's a new day. I didn't get all the painting done yesterday. I got most of it. It definitely needs a second coat. Um, so today I'm going to, my goal today is to finish painting these. I have another big piece and I have this piece. My goal today is to get these all painted. And then while these are drying, I'll get the second coat on these. I didn't paint in here because I'm not real sure how the uh, trim fits around here. So I figured I can always paint that later and um, if I need to paint it or what because the, the picture on the box shows that it's all trim right next to each other here. So I wasn't sure. So I thought, well, let's just leave it. But I'm going to get going on this painting and like I said my goal today is to get these last two pieces painted and those repainted and by then these should be dry and I can get them all painted and then the next video we can start putting the walls up. All right. I'll check in later and show you how the progress is going on our pieces. Hopefully we'll be all painted the next time I check in today. And um, yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> I'm painting. <laughs>